Yeah, hello, hello. Yeah, we are having a MacBook, laptop, Apple products. Yeah, this ma this machine is not working. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not giving us any indication that it's charging, which we all know it should be a green light or an orange light to indicate that the machine is charging or we have the 3.3 volts on the charger. Yeah, those who have MacBooks, you know that we are supposed to have an orange light there indicating that the machine is charging or a green light in case you don't have the battery in the laptop. So, yeah, this is, this is a problem that we need to solve right away. And now we are going to check what could be preventing this machine to charge or to, to work yeah let's go open the machine and try to see what is happening in there yeah we have the motherboard with us here yeah So let me come with some multimeter here. Let's try to take some voltages. Okay, let me place it there so that you can see. Let me find a ground. Ground, ground, ground. Yeah, that's a good ground. Okay, are we having any voltage there? Nope. Is the charger okay? Uh, I don't know whether the charger is having any voltage. Maybe that's why the machine is not charging. I don't know. Let me try to refix. Let me take some more. Let me try to take voltages again. What could be happening here? So ground and let me try to look for some power there. Okay, what is going on here? So let me try to. Oh, what is happening to my connector? Am I having a damaged connector? Or maybe my connector is damaged and I don't know. What a coincidence that the client was not. The, the client's connector, the, the client's charger was not charging and also mine is not going to charge. That is quite a coincidence. But I don't think that it's a coincidence. It's, I, 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 I think the machine is, is not charging. That is a situation. That the, my, the laptop is not taking any power. So let me try to see whether the adapter is, is giving us any voltage there. Yeah, I can see some voltages. Yeah. Uh, so what is going on? What is going on with the adapter here? So let me try to fix it back and see whether I'll collect any voltage on the motherboard from the charger. Yeah, that's a proper ground. Yeah, now we are having a voltage as you can see. So it's true what I had said earlier that the machine is not taking any power. Or rather the machine is not indicating the green light to show that the machine is charging or Maybe the machine is having a three a three volts power rail. Uh, and that's an indication there could be an issue on the motherboard and yeah, we need to check what's happening with this motherboard. Okay, 
they have the 14.5 but you're not that voltage is not passing anywhere through the motherboard so i think we are going to take off the motherboard and have it have it we check it okay let me take off the laptop from the table so that i can be left with the motherboard so how is the motherboard okay let me take off the laptop and deal with the motherboard alone yeah now that will create enough space for me to work on the motherboards so what do you think is happening here what do you think is going on with this motherboard i don't know so can i try to fit the fan or should i remove it completely uh I think the fan can just stay there and I, I think I need to go under the microscope and check what's happening with the motherboard maybe we have some obvious obvious signs that the motherboard is not okay physical inspection is very important guys yeah so many times we have been able to detect problems through physical inspection even without using any multimeter so anytime you have a motherboard First of all, go through physical inspection before you start going through the schematics or board view to take measurements on any components. So let's go under the microscope and try to see what you can to see whether you can detect any problem on this lab, on this motherboard here. Okay. Let me focus, out of focus here. So that you can be able to see the components clearly. Okay. Focus, focus, so that you can get clear picture. Yeah, I think now it's a bit clear. Okay, what is this? What am I seeing here? Oh no. Hell no. Oh my, oh my. Oh, the extent of water damage in this motherboard is, is very wanting. What is this? The client told me that the, there was a, a little spill of alcohol on the motherboard. Now this seems like a whole lot of water maybe the laptop even fell into a bucket full of water and i i, th I had something to do that like the spillage has uh took place like a day ago but what i can see here is like this is for weeks maybe this looks like weeks worth of liquid damage oh okay there is there any more is there any more or oh, this is all because by now i don't even know i don't even know what to say so let me try to check other areas yeah i told you before physical inspection is very important as far as the mother boots are concerned yeah before we have been able to detect problems even before we take a multimeter or even we take any measurements on any component physical in inspection is very vital and very important it could make your work easier by the way yeah let me let me try to focus on other areas here I don't know about you, but I don't know why clients or maybe some people, not all clients, uh, they will come with some information regarding the laptop. And as you check, the information does not match what you see with your own eyes because this is not a spill that took place one day ago, as I was told. And this is not a drop of alcohol. This is way too much liquid damage. Is that a graphics card or a processor? That's a PCH. Uh, see what I'm saying? 
this is more of liquid damage now on a totally different area you can see these are MOSFETs here the two MOSFETs liquid damage the capacitors total damage by liquid spill who knows what this liquid is could be alcohol could be acid or could be water maybe tea juice who knows oh this liquid damage is not for yesterday or maybe two days or few days ago this is this is a spill that has taken place long time ago and, and the customer decided to just put the laptop somewhere and forgot about it for some time so guys if you suffer a liquid damage it's important to take the laptop quickly to the laptop technician it's easier to salvage that laptop if you take it very the uh, uh on on a timely manner than rather than keeping it in the house for weeks for months and now i've started to wonder whether it will be possible to salvage this motherboard am i am i going to to revive this motherboard the extent of damage looks too much to me all these components water damage i don't know what is shorted i know maybe even some components have been ripped off because the corrosion when the corrosion is too much the component some components can fall off from the motherboard but as far as i can tell i haven't seen any or maybe i'm not even able to tell whether there are some components which has fallen fallen off the motherboard i'll start cleaning now i don't have a choice now i i'll try to take my best shot to see whether i can i can salvage this motherboard I try to brush off with some isopropylic alcohol yeah i found myself in this situation severally where you receive a laptop from a client and the client will tell me he will tell you that the laptop just fell down or the laptop just switched off by itself i was using the laptop i was watching for example they will tell you they were watching a movie and the laptop just went off by itself but when you go when you when you open the laptop or when you de dismantle the laptop you find a very very conspicuous traces of water yeah look at now look look at these capacitors here also they are this is also a, a corrosion that i don't know whether the corrosion is too much i don't know whether we'll be able to salvage this motherboard but we're just going to give it our best shot and see whether we can be able to revive this motherboard yeah the client will come with a very pretty face innocent face and they will tell you that the laptop just fell down or maybe I, I just put my laptop into the bag and now when i come opened it and tried to use it the laptop was not working anymore only to open the laptop and find lots of water and liquid damage and now you wonder you could you could have just told me now you poured some water on the laptop or maybe there was some liquid damage and yeah, but you know sometimes the the customer is trying to give you a story that is likely to make the work easier or to make the 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 cost cheaper of which that is not the case uh, a lot of people will think if i give him a, a a story about how how simple it was for this laptop to break down maybe that will change the cost of repairing the laptop wow the water dam the, the liquid damage is too much it, it looks like it's everywhere on this motherboard So let me clean there that current resistor there that is mind powering and now this starts to scare me because when you have liquid damage on the main power rail i don't know what to expect from this motherboard i really don't know what to expect but anyway i'll try to work on it and see whether i can i can revive the board yeah don't give up just because you have seeing the liquid the, the liquid damage is too much you just try your level best to see whether you can be able to to revive the motherboard and if you do 
yeah, he will feel better. And you feel you have achieved something. So let's continue the inspection. Yeah, I like the Apple product. They are a bit stable. Yeah. Even after liquid damage, I've seen a lot of MacBooks a bit stable. But this one, I think the liquid damage is a bit... Uh, a bit... A bit deeper. I'm just hoping the corrosion have not affected the power tra track lines or the power lines. The tracking paths for the power because the corrosion may may cut out all discontinuous um, power tracks. And hence some um, chips may may end up not receiving enough power or maybe no voltage at all. And now that that is another problem to to start thinking about that. Let's see. What is this? Uh, is this a little bit of corrosion? Yeah, I'm optimistic this motherboard is going to work because uh, when I put the isopropylic alcohol and wipe, it uh, looks like the board is coming back to. The corrosion is going away and the board is, is more likely to work. So I don't know whether there's a shot here, that capacitor. I'm not liking that capacitor. It's a ceramic capacitor, this one here. This capacitor here doesn't look good to me. I don't know whether I should check for a shot. I grab my multimeter here and try to check for some short circuit or what. Okay, let me scrub it a little bit and see whether it's gonna come off. Maybe it's loose or some more call. Wow. Wow. So let me take a multimeter and try to take some measurements on that cup there. Maybe I'm, ha maybe I'm having a shot on this motherboard. Eh? Uh, not badly off. It's okay. Yeah. No problem. So far so good. So let me go to other areas. The screen connector. How is it looking? Yeah, there's another capacitor there that doesn't look very nice to me. Let me try to put some, to brush off some. Those two cups there. Anyway, we'll come back to that. Let's check on this area here. Uh, what is this? Looks like ooh, it's watery. Let's try to clean it. Okay. The two cups there. Uh, they're drawing my attention, those two cups. Let me try to take some measurement and see whether they are shorted. I uh, know the cups are okay. What about this one? And no shot. Okay. So, is everything okay? Have we cleaned everything? Uh, 
How are those two caps there? Uh, is there a problem there? What is this? Is what kind of a liquid was this? Looks like some sugary element of the liquid. Let's try to clean. Let's apply some, some more isopropyl alcohol here. And brush it off. Mm. I think it looks nice to me. It's not bad. Uh, let's continue to the to other sections. What about this filter here? Is this filter okay? What do you think about this filter? I think I'll try to take some measurements on this filter and see whether the filter is working fine. Let me come with my multimeter. Yeah, the filter is okay. The filter is fine. So guys, as I told you, I need more cameras because now you, uh, I need a camera to show the measurements I'm taking on these components. Like now when I tell you a filter is okay, you need to be seeing what I'm seeing on the multimeter for me to consider that filter to be fine. But I'm working on that, guys. Uh, slow, slow, slow by slow, I'm going to get all those cameras. I need like four cameras so far. One to to for the power supply, the other one for the multimeter, the other one for the table I'm working on, and maybe the other one to the to show my face. But I was, I decided to start with what I have as I head towards obtaining what I don't have. And in life, that's how you should start. Start with what you have to, towards getting what you don't have. Uh, because if you wait to get everything to start anything, you'll end up wasting a lot of time and you remember. Time does not wait for any king. Is that how that saying goes? Or uh, I don't remember how the sayings go, but it's something to do with time not waiting for anybody. Whatever. So, how uh, oh, is this chip? This chip does not look very nice to me. I'll give it a brush here. Let's brush it off with some isopropyl alcohol. Let's give it some... Let's clean it here. Yeah, I think it uh, looks a bit better. Okay, what about that chip? Yeah, guys, we're just brushing it off with a toothbrush. I just buy a toothbrush to the nearest shop there and brush water the liquid damage using a toothbrush. It's not so much of a big deal. Yeah, the connectors look mint to me, but I don't know what's in this. You can see some some liquid stuff besides the connector i don't know what are these sugars or what it looks like the the liquid that spilled on this motherboard was something with some sugar it was a sugary drink maybe maybe a juice some alcohol yeah we have some alcohols that are sugary or maybe a cup of coffee who knows 
yeah that connector looks mean to me and also that one that's a keyboard connector if i'm not wrong and also i can i can see some sugary aspect of the green chiron so let me give it a slap here a little bit of a slap of a size of propyl alcohol just to make sure that i'm not leaving out some some liquid on, on some power lines on this motherboard it's very important to make sure that you have covered all the areas any short circuit will not let the motherboard to work yeah i think it looks perfect to me yeah what about this chip what about this chip yeah let me also clean it a little bit so guys remember to use a very high volatile liquid or alcohol to clean your motherboard don't use water don't use water and soap water will damage your motherboard if you if you don't know what you're doing you're going to destroy the motherboard the motherboard you'll take a motherboard from a better condition to a worse condition if you're not if you don't know what you're doing so it's very important to make sure you know what you're doing yeah it's still possible to wash a motherboard using water and some powder soap clean it very well rinse it the most important thing is to, is to dry that motherboard make sure the motherboard it has dried up and no liquid is has been left on the motherboard and the motherboard is still work fine so i'm not saying that washing with water is much of a big deal Yeah, I'm just concerned that you may end up washing the motherboard with water and again fail to completely dry the motherboard and then plug in the charger and all of a sudden some components will get burnt. Short circuits. What is under this connector? Looks like there's something under that connector. But I'm trying to blow with some hot air. To see whether. That thing will go off. yeah it's not that bad but anyway let's clean a little bit let's not get tired of cleaning the motherboard so those are ram pots i don't know whether you should take some
some resistors or capacitors off I don't think that will be important so let's just try to dry to dry the area with some hot air and try to see whether that is going to work So have we done a good job? Let's go through the major areas and try to see whether you have. We have done a good job with charging connector. Charging plate, that's a charging motherboard. Uh, looks fine to me but you can also do a little bit of clean up also let us try our level best to clean that motherboard the best we can That's the only way to increase our success chance, su success chance or success rate on the motherboard. So let me try to take some measurements using a multimeter and see whether we have done we have done a good job. One volt. Just bear with me as I try to take some measurements. Try to check some voltages. And uh, I can see now the power is flowing into the motherboard. But the motherboard is not yet working. But before we were not getting those power lines, but now I can see we are having the main power rail. Yeah, looks like uh, we cleaned the motherboard in a, the best way we could and we have really tried to do a good job. So can I pick any voltage from this motherboard, from the other side of the motherboard? the picking any voltage here let me see it was not hot I'm not getting any temperature To indicate that the motherboard is taking some power. Mm -hmm. I'm picking some voltages here and there. So let me try to look for some short circuits.
just bear with me i'm trying to take some measurements very quickly to try to see to a certain what i'll do next i think i might be having a short summer yeah this is a short circuit as you can see i'm having a beep and a red light on my multimeter it's not a complete short circuit but the resistance is too low yeah we could be having more damage under the chips the pch chip and the processor you know we may have cleaned other parts of the la of the motherboard but under the pch and the processor is where we have not been able to clean very well because the fabric of the toothbrush cannot get in can not get in under the processor and the pch uh, and maybe that's why i'm having a very low resistance of those areas so what do you think how should we clean those two chips there they are big chips those are chipsets one big chip that contain many other chips inside yeah the resistance is very low to me i don't like it like hey, that's very low the resistance is too low these two chips here i'm trying to think these two chips there could be more liquid damage under it under the two chips and so we need to do something about it and you know what uh, let me grab some flux here as a colophony as a flux i i i make my flux and every time i need to boil some flux under the pch and the processor i use the flux that has got some colophony to try to clear the water damage under the, those chips because you cannot desolder those chips and solder them back those chips are too big also the reboiling part of it is not very easy and for you to remove that chip you need to have the proper tools to do that yeah those are very expensive tools by the way So let me put under let me go under the microscope so that you can see what i'm doing i'm going under those chip trying to put some flux so that we can try to re rectify the, the liquid damage that could have happened under those chip those two chips there so let me come up with the flux with uh, i've mixed this one with call for me try to put some flux there let me add another layer to make sure there is enough flux flux it's not yeah i'm dream i'm dreaming about tina if you see you hear me start talking about flask <laughs> i'm dreaming about hot tea i'm thinking about hot tea now yeah or maybe the pronunciation is very close to one another flask and flux flask and flux yeah okay let's continue applying more flask should you continue to call this thing flask or flux as long as you get the message as long as you understand what i'm saying that's what matters 
So is that enough or should I add some more? Okay. Let me come up with some hot air and try to push that flux to go inside. To go under the chip and protect the chip and also try to rectify the few areas where the chip may be where the chip may have been affected by the liquid damage. So let's continue. Yeah, as you can see, the flux has gone under the chip. Yeah, it's very effective. I like it. So let me come to the other chip here and apply some four flask. Some more flux, sorry. Oh, <laughs> that's funny now. Yeah, so let's try to come with some hot air. So guys, if we are done with the with the cleaning of the two chips here, the chipsets, the two chipsets here and the machine is not working now. That will not be a good case because now I'll start I'll start preparing myself to render this machine as a no fix. But I'll be optimistic. Let me continue being optimistic. And believe that we can salvage this motherboard. That will be my joy. Yeah, I'll be I'll be more than happy to see the motherboard working. Don't get me wrong. That's true. Okay. Let's now check the try to see whether we have we have done a good job. And let's go back to Let's try to see whether we will have this uh, this motherboard back to life. Yeah, that's the processor and that's the graphics. Those two chipsets are very important. Mm, let's wait for the board to cool down a little bit. And now. So that you can grab a charger and now try to test the motherboard, see whether it's working. The moment of truth is here with us now. Let's see whether you'll be able to, to manage here. That's the heat sink. Uh, 
I always test the motherboard with the heat sink on so that you may not damage so that you may not damage the processor. Yeah, I've had cases where the processor ended up cracking. There's a brittle part of the processor. Looks like a glass. You know where we apply the thermal paste. If you power on your motherboard and the processor will power on the motherboard without the heat sink, the processor will crack. The glass part of the processor is a bit brittle. And so a lot of heat will just break it off. So take care. Always have the heat sink on before you power on the motherboard for testing. Do not make that mistake. And if you want to power without the heat sink, you cannot keep the motherboard on for a long time. You just need to take the readings from the uh, power supply, maybe the amperage and the voltage and immediately just take off the charger and and take back the heat sink now for a longer. I think now the motherboard is a bit okay. Yeah, we can plug in the charger now. I don't know whether we are going to have a green. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, guys, we have a green light here. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh. That's such a good feeling. That's the best feeling in the world. See? Green light. Again? Green light. I don't know how I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you this. Let me try to put on the fan. As I told you, I don't want to risk the processor. There's no point of struggling all that long to just to come and kill the processor. So let me try to put on the fan so that we can cool the processor and let's see whether the fans are going to spin guys. Oop, oop, oop. Ah nice. <laughs> the fans are spinning. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the MacBook is working. Yeah, the green light, the fans are spinning. Now we are going to install the RAMs and see whether we have got a display. As I told you guys, never give up. Yeah, the situation may look very cumbersome. The situation may look very difficult, but don't give up. Keep pushing. Yeah, I would have given up on this motherboard after half I saw the extent of the water damage or the liquid spill that was on the motherboard, but I decided to continue anyway. And see, it has paid off. I the best feeling. I, I can tell you that for sure. So let me install back the RAMs. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I think I'll, I'll test the display using a keyboard. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me come up with a keyboard. Where is my keyboard here? Yeah, it's a bit late, guys, and I, I don't think I'll be able to... to to assemble back the machine the way it was. I think that uh, that I'll do tomorrow morning. Because I have to go home. Yeah, it's around 7.30 p.m. here. Yeah, this is Kenya. So let me see whether I have a display on the caps look. Fans are spinning. Yeah, I have a display. As you see that caps lock here. 
yeah the motherboard is okay guys so that's all for today guys i'm very happy today i was a little bit discouraged when i was starting the video but now i'm happy that the motherboard is working guys like share and subscribe please subscribe and support our work and let me know what you think under the comment section and that's all for today guys let's meet in the next video yeah i'll assemble this laptop tomorrow because of the time i don't want to get late yeah that's all guys for today bye have a good day have a good night it's not day it's night bye